Hey guys, this is Bonfrey from L World, and this is FOE Advance, where uh, the attempt is to advance our gameplay with uh, micro strategies in a uh, commentative format. Hopefully, a little bit of humor, a little bit of sarcasm, and some just good old fashioned fun. The event itself with the mini game is a puzzle, and it's like you don't, you know, it's chance based, and you're, you know, potentially spending diamonds. And you're not always guaranteed you're going to get, you know, X, Y, Z prizes, but uh, I like Rival in the fact that, you know, you know you're going to get this, say, the Improved jump Jumping Shroom Selection Kit. Um, if, you know, you, you, go, <laughs> you uh, uh, go through the hoops. So, um, trying to keep it clean here. So, um I was I was actually listening to uh, a Boston song earlier called "More Than a Feeling," and it, it actually compelled me to 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 record this because there is something about this game that clearly is more than a feeling. So, because uh, I keep coming back for you know further um, further floggings. Um, so uh, here we are. Uh, what I I have noticed is that you know like the last quest I just had to do was something like spend. Basically, you know, finish all your moves. I don't remember what it was called, like how it was worded, but finish everything, run out of moves, and then two times you have to buy extra moves. So that's automatically 130 sacks of that you have to spend, and hopefully you have them on hand. If you don't, you got to buy them, you know, if you want to keep going. Where it gets really tedious, in my opinion, is this, this collect, you know, any given color, um, you know, five so collect five red jars that have four stars so this gets really odd because you know sometimes you you know the whole idea of of the puzzle is not to withhold the, the whole idea is like i want to get six stars you know to get the best chance at the big prize and of course we'll get there with rivals i'm sure there will be like get six six star you know purples or whatever but um it can be a little bit a little bit challenging to, uh, you know, pull it back to three stars, four stars, etc. Because as you drop these things, you know, I've programmed my brain to see in terms of like, how can I look at this board and get like, you know, 28, you know, oranges put together and maximize myself so that I can, you know, be up here in in the top league or whatever, which bar I'm barely making and I'm clearly lagging. I mean, either that or, you know, there's some people really throwing down because um, for almost the whole season, I've been ahead here by like at least uh, at least 100,000 ahead. And so clearly I've been slacking. Um, but, you know, I'll bump that up because I, I, you know, I want all the fun stuff, right? I mean... You know, I, I waited a couple of years to get my, my big diamond buy, and so I, I you know, I won't be outdone. Uh, why not have another, you know, level two uh, Grape Stomp Festival, even though, you know, I'm going to be storing all my uh, my vineyards here pretty quick. But anyway, um, just feels good to have them. So in this case, you know, you have the four hour, you know, 25 times. That's, that's relatively easy with uh, rushes. Um, you know, not too big a deal there, but getting these. So, um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to pause just so that this just doesn't go on for four hours. And I'm going to just check back in as I run into things, make comments, things like that. I like the idea of things like the, you know, the, the, the awards, the improved jump pumpkin shroom selection. I, I think the names are actually just really killing me right now. Um, they are, they're fun actually i think they're actually kind of fun a little bit nerdy which is uh what i think is required for this game but um i will be uh i'll be back shortly so one thing i wanted to mention is that um like this current quest on rival you know finish four hour productions 25 times so given that i have a lot of sleigh builders and they help me finish these types of productions only in certain conditions basically i can use coin rushes on five minutes and one hour uh like mass coin rushes and mass supply rushes at 15 minutes i mean sleigh builders are by far one of my favorite buildings in the game they have been since 
almost when I started the game, like I guess eight or nine years ago. But um, I wasn't totally first year in this game, but I was like a year and a half later after they started, I think. So whatever that is. But um, the problem with, you know, these down here, these productions is that even though the slave builder is weird because it's a special building however it can swing over to acting as a uh, regular production building so the quest may be finish you know 24 15 minute productions in a production building well yes the slave builder is a production building but it's also a special building so what's funny about it is that it is a swinger it can it you can do a mass or sorry finish all or sorry finish all productions you could do that finish all uh productions uh supply productions and that's that would apply here only right which is intriguing about this building because it is a special building yet it behaves as a supply building in this case but when it's producing coins i have to do a coin rush and that works however if i want these any of these to speed up right i need to to now go into finish special building productions so it's either a finish all special building which you know makes my whole city bloom with special production output or I have to do them one by one, which makes no sense. It would be a waste in terms of like finish, you know, 24 four hour productions, which I'm facing now. So when I come into one of these events, I have to make a choice as to whether I'm going to really go into some, some things in my inventory I don't want to spend because it'd be wasteful, especially special productions, or, uh, I have to build, uh, more conventional production buildings. So my point being in this case, I've deployed some jumping pumpkins uh, just because I keep them around in my inventory. Uh, but I, I don't keep them in my city because they create so much negative population. So I, I make these on a regular basis because I have so many of the vibrant autumn vineyards. And then I create the, the uh, not the grannies, it's the other one. Um, but anyway, the 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 tree or the bush or the shrub or whatever it is, the shrooms. Yes, the shrooms. Okay. So I, I make the shrooms and then the shrooms make the, the pumpkin, uh, uh, fragments. So anyway, doing that. So then I end up with like a lot of pumpkins in my inventory, but the nice thing is that I can deploy it. So I have 136 of them in my inventory. So that means when this is a this event is over, I'm going to delete these. I'm not going to store them and sell them like they're worthless in the AD. Well, everything's worthless in the AD until that is uh, resolved or, or you know made a priority. But um, I put as many of these down as I can handle in terms of negative population. So Negpop right now is at thirty six thousand, whereas normally, uh, sorry, not Neg. I mean available pops through 6,000, but that's been a negative from like, you know, maybe 500,000 available population. So the pumpkins have really dragged down, um, uh, my pop, which is fine. I mean, it's just a temporary situation. So I deploy as many of these as I can. And then I also have a couple other things, you know, cause my guild has, um, won some championships. I've got some wyvern tides, um, you know, there's just a few other things like, uh, I've dropped some beach bars, uh, you know, a word to the wise, pick up um, current era production buildings in the AD if you can. And what I like about the beach bar is that it is um, entirely a supply production building. So uh, given it's a special building, so again, it swings both ways like like the uh, uh, sleigh builders, it's all supplies. So that's pretty cool, actually. Um, actually it's a very cool building. It's, it's very underrated. Most people don't pay attention to it, but, uh, it's, you know, it's not particularly a great size, uh, for, for what it does, but it is pretty efficient for a current era fulfillment of, uh, productions. 
So keep an eye out for these types of buildings. I'm not just saying specifically go after beach bars, but look for production buildings that are current era that don't take up that much space. You know, Fan Shop is a good example. Um, obviously, we could talk about confectionaries, but they're huge. They are very high output, you know, regardless of what version of a confectionery you have, whether it's, you know, the the legendary or, you know, whatever, they just tend to be kind of huge. So I tend to go highest size I would put down would be a fan shop, which is like, I think, three by four. Um, and then the uh, beach bar is is even smaller than that. So um, just just something to watch out for. Like the, the boring stuff that comes in the AD, comes up in the AD, like, you know, there can be some stuff in there once in a while, especially when it comes to current era production buildings. I'm always going to pick up rushes. Uh, so anyway, just commenting about that because I have to I have to fill, fulfill this current um, rival of four hours, 25 times. And unfortunately, at, at the moment, I'd only fit like 23 of the uh, regular production buildings. And because it's a four hour... I'm totally screwed on sleigh builders because they make crowns. Uh, so I don't want to go there. So I'm going to throw down a few more pumpkins so I can pop out this quest and get it out of my life so I can move on to quest. Uh, I don't know what number is. Does this bother you guys? Like they show 16, 18. This makes no, like this doesn't line up. I'm a little bit OCD and this is like really a problem for me because it shows like visually 16 and then 18 and but I don't know where the hell I am right now like is this 16 or 17 like I don't really know um, but that's just something that really bugs me like I want it to be way more specific so I wanted to point out another oddity that I've come across uh, is that in spite of all these magical buildings I have in my city I have an inordinately small amount of some rush quantizations. I don't know why that word, but anyway, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. So like I have 491 30 minute supply rushes and then like three, one hours and you know, 12, two hours. So clearly there are buildings that you come across in this game, at least up to this point for me, for some reason, you know, my city just happened to pop a lot of these out. So the six hour thing is crazy. Like I've got 83 of those. So even though I'm doing a four hour supply rush, instead of using uh, different uh, numbers of, of these, then I'm going to just use six hours because yes, I'm technically wasting two hours, but I have 83 of them. So, um, denominations that was the word anyway um so yeah so have you noticed that like there's just a disparity of certain ones and i noticed that on some of my other in some of my other uh servers that the 30 minute is really sparse but you know i'm at 491 so you know these stack which is great so if you want to finish a you know one hour production you can just roll two of these out, you know, whatever. So I, I had 23 of 25 because I was like kind of rushing and I was like, I thought I had 25 down in my city, but I only had 23. So that's fine. I'll, I'll just do it again and, you know, clean it up and waste another six hour supply mass supply rush. If you finish a bunch of productions and you don't want to pick through your garbage city, if you have one like me, and be like click and then that's four hours and then click and this one's four hours and I want to hunt and peck if there's over a hundred FP on the bar you can just do a mass collection and it will only uh, harvest anything but FP buildings right so any building that has FP associated with it will not collect so in a sense it's like kind of a reverse hack to like just collect my my uh coins and or uh supplies right or goods uh if that's something you're into so um anyway i'm supposed to do four hour okay so i'm gonna go here to this pumpkin and i'm gonna hit the number four 
on my keyboard and I'm going to hold number four and it's just going to hit every production building that's in that class of building. So I'm going to show you, I'm just actually give you an example of what I was talking about of how to, how to use the mass collection. It does cost five FP. So here I go, six hour mass supply rush. Yeah, there's uh, 24 buildings. This is so nice. Like this game never used to have this level of user interface. Like, I mean, this is incredible. Like to where you can have, like you have 24 buildings that you're gonna collect. So if I had been paying attention earlier, I was like, oh, I only have 24 and I needed 26 or whatever it was, uh, but I was just being lame and I didn't you know, see that and I was rushing. So I'm doing it all over again and it tells me, yeah, you have 82 items left. It's kind of cur uh, courteous. I mean, like, that's pretty cool. That's very informative. So I applied that and now it's like, no, you don't have any more, that's great. So now again, to my point earlier, I can hunt and peck, you know, to try to find these little hammers and stuff, or I can just go here to collect all finished productions, pay five diamonds, and then I just say, okay, so this is another thing. You don't have to choose a an amount of time here, even though this is very convenient when it applies. But right now, I just want to leave all these buildings available for yet another beating from the rival to where it's like, you know, do 15 minute productions, but I don't know what's coming up next. Cause I'm too lazy to look at all the, like the list of like, this is all the shit that's going to come up and you got to do that next. So I just like to, you know, keep it in fantasy land because I'm not disciplined enough to go look at the list. So I'm just going to hit the X. And if I hit the X, it'll collect these again, I just did a full collection, but it's not going to collect anything with FP because I have more than 100 FP on my bar. So that that is fulfilled, and now I have to go probably spend you know 15 minutes uh, dealing with this. So I'm going to go do that, and uh, if this video ever sees the light of day, you know you'll see what's next. All right, so starting recording again just to show you the kind of scenario that we're all running into. So in this case, I'm supposed to collect. Uh, red or white uh, four star. Now I've got to be a little tricky because normally I would set this up with my tools, uh, my boosters actually, uh, to maximize this to more than four stars. But now I've got to withhold and um, try to try to fit into that box, which of course you know is part of the challenge. So now I'm burning forks like a like a madman and uh, oh. I might overdo it. See, overdid it. Yep. I'm sure you guys have been there, done that. So, so there that is. So now I need to, uh, clearly I overcorrected, overcompensated. So now I need to break that somehow. Uh, and it just keeps getting worse. Um, yeah. So you guys know, you guys know the, know the situation here. So I've got to come up with a way to like delete. So one of the things I've done is just to kind of hack off like so i'm going to try to just use this tool again these are expensive like I've, I've spent like zillions of diamonds just to get more of these just because so i can just like you know play like a drunk sailor you know with these boosters and um just you know at will at any whim so that i can play rivals so that you know this arrogant fucker over here can uh can lose. So, um, anyway, see, I did that. It did absolutely nothing because I'm not really paying that close attention. So I'm going to keep trying to, to bring these down to get rid of them. But no, the gift just keeps on giving. It's kind of like when you're, uh, wanting red lights so that you can glance at your phone briefly and be safe sort of. Um, but they're always green. And yet when you don't want to look at your phone, you're in a hurry, the lights are always red. So, that's what's happening right now, just in case you're not sure. So um, I'm going to finish up this madness, but I thought you might enjoy seeing in real time um, that, you know, all of us are dealing with the same problem. I will say there is a scientific approach. In fact, in my last video, I talked about uh, the levels, the different levels of like how many uh, of each color makes up how many stars. So I'm going to go back and reference that because um, 
it would it would make a lot of sense for efficiency because you know this is a math game it's a numbers game and um you know that that obviously would be the best way so that i can figure out how to eliminate exactly how many of these i need to eliminate so that i can sort of snipe the the right number and then just move on to the next uh, mundane task that must be accomplished that will no doubt extract money from my wallet. It's going to end up with the whites because um, that's just how it ended up. I had to clear, uh, I'm ashamed to say, I think four boards uh, because I was, I was more so going for um, quantity over quality to get the right... I, I'm trying to preserve my tools a little bit. Obviously, you can go either way. You can like preserve tools or uh, pay for for more spoons if indeed you need more spoons. I happen to have four on the board when I started, um, and I had like a leftover one from before when I started the, this particular quest. So uh, here we are. So it was uh, yeah, I think it was four. So, all right, there's the ding from FOE Helper saying, yeah, you completed a quest. So, anyway, so there we go. So, I got an improved jumping pumpkin shroom kit. So, uh, these are easy. I mean, I pop 40, pop, you know, 40 of white or green, great. And, of course, as most of you well know by now, there's uh, different, different um, puzzle iterations have different, um, yeah, it was four, uh, by the way, to get to get to that, which just means that I'm up for spending a lot of diamonds if I'm going to finish rival, you know, on time because like any of us would be, because by the time this, this fucker's done with me, I'm going to be, you know, any of us would be like, I think it's going to be like complete six of sixes or whatever. So we'll see what it has in store. You know, again, I like to keep it, keep it crazy and not really, uh, look ahead. Uh, obviously, you know, the beta stuff, when they post uh, this is going to be the quest, it's not always exactly what they do. I mean, Enel likes to mix it up a little bit, and thankfully so. Like, I, I really don't want this to be a game of non-chance. Uh, I mean, it's it uh, even if it wasn't a game of chance and it was just a game of, like, collect all the shit you can and then spend money and then get the thing and then spend even more money to get the better thing, um, we'd still have a lot of workload on our hands, which is clearly the case, but to throw in the unknown factors on top of that, the X factor, uh, makes it even more engaging apparently. So, uh, more than a feeling. So there you go. So this is one other thing I wanted to address, um, regarding rivals and rival and, um, completing GE. So one of the things that I think, you know, in a, tries to do is it's like a it's sort of a, a, a double-edged sword because you have this this urgency to finish GE uh, as you go through the quest right like so this current quest I'm on uh, somewhere between 16 and 20 um, I have you know I need to complete 10 encounters uh, by either fighting or negotiating uh, which is I'm thankful for that because sometimes um, they've experimented in the past with one or the other. I'm going to have to just, I'm, I'm just going to pound through it because, um, I am going to spend diamonds and, or, you know, hundreds of millions of metals, but, uh, I'd rather just spend diamonds right now. Uh, and that, that, that is an issue for people, right? Like, I mean, rival becomes completely impossible for a lot of players. Like if you're diamond constricted, um, and, or metal constricted, you're not going to finish rival. Like it's not going to happen. I mean, because they've purposely made it extremely, uh, extremely high bar to, uh, to, to get over. So, um, the Olympics come to mind at the moment, but anyway, um, moving on from that, um, it is hard to, to, uh, to, to make it in that amount of time. You, you cannot, to my knowledge, organically make it through GE without spending metals or diamonds um, and finish rival in the amount of time that they give you. Probably spending, I don't know, 450 diamonds or so to, to just make this happen. So, Because I'm unlucky. I, I never get the extra turns. You know, sometimes I do, but, you know, like Rod Stewart says, some guys have all the luck, some guys have all the pain, and I'm the latter. So 
Um, that's just how it is. One other thing about Rival is that when players, you know, decide to dump out because they're frustrated with, obviously, the amount of um, resources, uh, inventory items required to move through this, and time. I think it takes me about four hours, you know, to just blow through this, uh, which isn't really blowing through it, but it's about four man hours of play, uh, along with, you know, a bunch of shit out of your inventory and diamonds and, you know, it's just messy. So the thing is, is that a lot of players just kind of look at these major award, the major awards. Sorry, I just had a moment there from Christmas, uh, uh, the Christmas movie, Christmas story or whatever. But anyway, major award. Um, there are awards in between these that, in my opinion, kind of make it worthwhile. I mean, even if you don't finish, like these things pop up, like Vagabond libraries. Like I'm big on those right now because I'm playing QI and, you know, I want as many of these down as, as I can in my city because I want to start QI with enough stuff to just you know build a goat farm right off the bat for example like that's a big deal and if you play qi you know that's a big deal so um anyway just thought i'd mention that in case you know there's any haters that are like you know not sold on it don't want to don't want to spend the time and the resources but there are a lot of cool awards whatever you want to call them that, that show up in these uh netherland areas between uh now the ever-changing scale of things i don't know so now now we're at 21 and 24 so i i'm just gonna lose my mind so this one's fun uh the current quest i have is i need to collect six cups uh along with some encounters but i've uh been dropping uh paying no attention to you know the value of uh of, of stacked objects here and no cups are coming like uh, I started the screen with one cup, you know, you start with 25 moves, I'm down to 14 and I'm just trying to chunker off these things as much as I can just to, just to bring cups in. Okay. Now that we're halfway dead, a second cup shows up. So wondering if you guys run into this too. So anyway, there's that. So as I near the end, uh, here of this, um, abomination, but also very challenging event, uh, that is also, you know, quite rewarding. Uh, I, I thought I picked up a lot of things, uh, a lot of cool stuff, uh, not just the the highlight reel here. And I wanted to talk about the the particular challenge that I dealt that I handled with getting uh, six of six star um, candies, so uh, or baked goods or whatever these things are. So when I when I went through that, in a sense, it's easier because. Uh, you can you don't have to limit you don't have to withhold on the amount of say reds you're getting I, I believe I had to get six of six uh, reds and, and or six of six whites the problem is I had to spend quite a bit of FP because I needed more opportunities with spoons now I did have some golden spoons and I did find that for this particular quest where you did six of six one color um, I ended up using a golden spoon and that, that basically got me through it. I think I used, sorry, I think I used two golden spoons. So, um, that was nice cause I didn't have to spend any additional FP at the same time. It sucked because I'm trying to save these for a daily special that I really want, which isn't this. So, uh, you know, again, it's choices in the game. You know, I, I, I have spent, I've probably spent on this on this rival alone, at least 1500 diamonds, um, just because I'm in a hurry, obviously, but more in a hurry than just the hours of the event, because I don't know what's going to come up in my personal life that may take me away from this. And I would hate to get, uh, you know, half the way through and not finish the task because of the cost related to it to get to that point. You know, if I get halfway through, I spent say half the diamonds I'm going to spend on the on the whole uh, effort, and then I get pulled away in real life for something that's far more you know, important, and then I don't get it done. So, um, again, just powering through it. So, 
I, I'm down to just uh, a few left, and and here's the the, the strange uh, ruler down here that doesn't make a lot of sense to me to scale between you know 24 of 28. I just wish it would just say like you're on 25 or 26. This is just like th there's got to be some psychology to this, and it's really getting under my skin clearly. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do some more things and then uh, wrap this up. So something just happened that I did not know was a thing, and um, I'm actually really pissed about it. So um, my my quest is to pop 35 orange desserts. Okay, so as I was nearing the end of my last puzzle, which of course I had to pay 200 diamonds for, um, it had orange on it, and I got to like that whatever that I got to like 31. So what I did is I used spatulas to, quote, pop the oranges and wipe them out. And guess what? It didn't pop them. It didn't count. So if you, word of the wise, if you use a spatula or a rolling pin to hurry up and grab four or five of one color towards your pop requirement, it won't work. So I don't know if Inno's going to change that or if it's a bug. Um, I haven't read the change log, uh, about anything about that, but I haven't been looking for it. So, uh, I'd be curious about that if anybody knows about it. And of course I paid another 200 or another 200 diamonds to get a new puzzle that has no orange on it. So yeah, winning. So I'm, um, actually going, I need to get six of six star whites or six of six star greens. So I'm, on a golden spoon right now and I'm just hammering through this trying to uh, go with the flow I think the golden spoons are nice for these uh, difficult quests because I you can just kind of keep clicking and at the same time there's a there's a bit of urgency because you're on the clock because you don't want the you know the opportunity to run out to get to get unlimited clicks but um, this doesn't seem to be going very well because I'm getting a little bit flustered and um, that's just exactly, you know, how the game is put together. So um, anyway, I'm just going that route and I'm like almost there but not quite as usual. So I'm just going to blow this one off and go to the next and grab a couple cups along the way. And I don't like how many clicks you have to do um, in order to, you know, kind of get to the next screen. Uh, and of course this one has white, but no green. So I'm going to have to, to just keep, keep working on it. But I just thought I'd show that particular aspect of how I'm approaching getting six of six color. Wanted to add a strategy that, uh, I'm working on right now, which is, uh, almost the final rival. I think it's, um, uh, we're almost to the end. I'm at, uh, 30, I guess of 32. So I can't wait to see what the next two are going to bring bring to me because I've used my third available golden spoon just to get this far um, over the last three quests so uh, I have some cups set up over here that uh, I'm just letting sit because I still had some moves because if I got in a hurry and used my spatula uh, I may not leverage that spatula as good as I could by using these move for moves first to see if I could bring more cups down so I'm trying to keep these. I hate the bunchers because they really prevent more stuff coming down from the top. So I really try to, when I'm trying to bring cups down, I really try to knock out uh, as big a blank area as I can just to, to maximize the efficiency of my, my uh, available moves. So anyway, just thought I'd mention that. So I'm going to wrap the video up at this point because I still have a single quest left, I believe. I think it's just one. I think I'm on 31 and 32, uh, which is the, uh, I have to use extra moves three times now. So that's going to be, you know, a couple hundred of the, of the sacks and then uh, 30 battles. So I want to get this uh, video up and in the can just so anybody that's still struggling with rival might, might get a chance to, uh, to, you know, deploy some of the things I talk about. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.